Hello everyone and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Stephen Mail. And you'll know that we're wearing the same clothes because yes, we are we're opening the mail uh, back to back. This is actually going to finish up all of the mail. Uh, we have gotten through all of it, so we're very excited to open it. It also means that this stuff is fairly new. This isn't like months old, so we're actually getting through it. Anyway, July 19th? Yeah. Well, July... That's, this is June. June 19th. How did that get in the back? Probably because it was big and they wrapped it up in the mailbox. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Oops. one of them's old, but yeah. the other one's pretty recent. Anyway, um, it's actually coming from a lot of different places. We have, 14th. We've got Mexico, and Canada. we've got Canada, and we've got uh, Texas and California, Virginia. and Virginia. So those are all their own nations, <laughs> pretty much. Anyway, what are we starting with now? We're starting from, with the letter from Mexico from... Um, Me Mer Meridia, Yucatan, Mexico. Cool. So it's on the Yucatan Peninsula. Here's the letter. Leather time. This is a cool textured envelope. Whoa, crazy font. Hello, Stephen Amell. My name is Claudia, but most of my friends just call me Klaus, reference to Mother 3. My YouTube channel is Chibi Corazu. Corazu. Corazu, if you're wondering who I am. Uh, anyways, I'm a huge fan of your work and honestly met you from your Nintendo Speaks channel until one day when I saw your other one. Steven Plays caught my attention first, and uh, the first Let's Play I watched was, not surprisingly, Earthbound. I fell in love with it and decided to watch more videos. I watched Portal and the whole Minecraft LP. You also got me to give Skyrim a try, as I honestly didn't like it much just because it wasn't my type of game. I ended up playing it, and it's enjoyable. But I agree with that about Skyrim, because Steven was like, you gotta play Oblivion, and I didn't really want to play Oblivion. But I started Skyrim and I loved it. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people that sometimes whenever, uh, like if a game is really hyped up, they're like, eh, I don't know, really into that. There's, there's a lot of hype behind it, but it's actually really good. I would I would say that about the Call of Duty series, but I will get shot to death, so I'm, no, I won't jump into that at all. Anyway, uh, after watching your Let's Plays, I decided to go on the journey of watching all the vlogs, and I must say I enjoyed them all. I remember you getting Chrono Cross. I hope you like it as much as I do, as that game holds dear childhood memories to me, and I like it a lot, so I hope you do too. By the way, could you also tell Mallory she's got another person who grew up with Sonic games? You have another person who grew up with Sonic games. I also love the first two Sonic the Hedgehog games, and in Sonic Generations, I enjoyed using classic Sonic the most. Sadly, I think I haven't seen people from my country, Mexico, watching your videos, but I made sure to ask some friends to give you a chance, and some of them love your videos. I better shut up already, I must be getting annoying over here, but just one more thing. I'm happy a game like Earthbound managed to help m you meet Mallory and some other friends. I actually met my current best friend thanks to Earthbound and Mother 3, so I understand that attachment someone gets to such a special game. I hope you continue making videos and that you and Mallory continue having such a great life together. I wish you guys the very best. The best regards, Klaus. And we have a comic type thing here. It says, oh, by the way, I wanted to send you guys a few silly drawings I made. It's okay if you don't add them to the fan art board or something. I'd be happy enough with you guys just getting them because uh, intention is what matters the most. And then we have a picture of uh, Waddle Dee and it says, I'm Waddle Dee. And then it's just Steven's power not all as the screen. Waddle Dee. Oh, <laughs> I'm not used to being this far away. I'm Waddle Dee! Steven's power is Waddle Dee. And then down here it says, uh, keep PK rocking, guys. And it's Ness and me and Mallory. It's super cute. I love drawings like that. Awesome. Well, uh, Klaus, which is such a really, such a really cool nickname. Klaus, I appreciate it. And uh, I hope that at some point we do have more viewers from Mexico because I, I kind of keep up with where people are from. There's actually a little analytics thing that will tell me and it is really low. Um, we get we get people from all over the world but uh, Mexico is, is low so we got to change that number. Anyway, I appreciate it. We're going to move on to the next one from Sterling, Virginia. Da -da -da -da. Dear Stephen and Mal, uh, we didn't have any electricity for two days here in my apartment so I spent most of my 48 hours drawing in my sketchbook. While I was drawing, I remembered when Mal died the first five seconds in Green Hill Zone. Then I came up with the idea that I should draw Steven as Sonic and Mal as Amy. I love this pairing in the anime Sonic X, but I find the voice actor for Amy kind of annoying. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting out of topic. Thank you for doing a God of War LP, and thank you for censoring stuff my mind doesn't want to see. <laughs> Are you going to LP the last of verses? If you will, that would be awesome. By the way, Mal, my friend has a crush on you, lol. That is all I have to write. Please enjoy the fan art from Shay. Fan arts, what's it say? I can't it's see. Steven the Hedgehog. Steven the Hedgehog, and then it's me in, 
what is essentially like a, a Sonic the Hedgehog hoodie that says, I can, I'm Sonic. And now as the hammer is Amy, she's like, slow down, Stu. That's cool. That's cute. Very cute. Oh, I just realized that this says the last of us, not the last of verses. Because <laughs> I read it as the last of verses and I, I kept reading, I was like, what is the last of verses? As for whether or not um, I'm actually going to LP that game, I don't know, uh, but I've been keeping up with that game and that game looks pretty sweet. Uh, I like Naughty Dog, especially um, after playing Uncharted and I'm really excited to play the, the next Uncharted games. Um, so it's something I've been keeping up with, and I don't know. I'll probably play the demo of it, and if the demo really grabs my attention, then I might I might go for it, because it looks pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, Shay, I appreciate the letter very much. We're going to move on to the next letter. Uderson, Ontario. Uderson, or Utterson. Camp Rama? Camp Rama? Like... Summer camp? Like Tala Rama? Oh, that's cool. This is neat. That's called stationary, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dumb. I, re I really am. Moving on. Hi, Stephen Mal. I've been watching for a long time, since episode 656. I found your gaming channel when searching for Earthbound Let's Plays. It's my favorite game. Hey, mine too. Uh, then I heard you talk about the vlog, and I chose a random day, 656, and I was hooked. I recently did the journey, and I did the cola challenge, and my friends think I'm crazy, but I don't care. I love your Skyrim LP. I even named my character Argyle. I was going to do some art, but I suck, and <laughs> I'm at camp. I also don't have my Delta Series Charizard that I was going to send you, so next time. Sincerely, Matthew, also known on YouTube as Mega Gamer Scott. That's interesting that his name is Matthew and he goes on YouTube by Scott. I mean, maybe that's like a middle name or something. Anyway, Matthew, I appreciate the letter and I appreciate you sending it on, as, as I've just learned, stationary, because I, I, I don't know. It's interesting when people send cool stuff like this. I know. Uh, whenever Joel sends stuff, he, he does it on like... Stationary. Yeah, but he, well, he makes his own stationary, yeah. which is wacky. He doesn't... I, I don't know. I like creativity when people do cool stuff like that. I, I like it. Anyway, once again, thank you for the letter, Matthew. We're going to move on to the next letter, which is from Tom. Peso in Robles. Peso Robles, California. Dear Stephen Amal, hello again. This is once again Tom from California sending in more letters and art for your home. It's indeed been a while since I last sent anything in, the last time being back in early February, and in that time I've learned some new things, such as how hard it is to distinguish one's artwork from so far away. This time I decided to add considerably more color, contrast, and overall finished image to my piece. I had a really fun time making this one, the, Kratar, the Kratos Argonian, and will probably make more pieces of a similar type and send them to you too, maybe in a more comic-like scenario. Uh, it's quite funny, actually. Lately, I've known that I need to send some more art in, but have not really been inspired to make anything in particular, so when I realized you were playing God of War, I knew that would be the perfect image, an Argonian Kratos. I hope you enjoy the art and keep doing what you're doing. Uh, one other thing I'd like to discuss. I would like to ask what you and Mallory think about comics. Any variety. I really don't care. Comic books, news, newspaper funnies, uh, American graphic novels, manga, webcomics, anything. I would like to know. If you don't read any, I would like to at least suggest some webcomics that I like, and I'm pretty sure you'd find interesting as well. Uh, for hilarious gamer comics, there's Awkward Zombie, which is very funny, and VG Cats, which is also pretty funny, but is a little more mature in language and humor. Lastly, there is a comic called Memoria, which is more of an adventure comic and is based on Mother 3. I know that you like the Earthbound series, so you might like this one as well. Uh, there is also The Order of the Stick, which is a very entertaining fantasy slash adventure slash humor comic, which might take a while to read, but is definitely worth it. One last question. Have you ever been a Boy Scout? This organization has always been very near and dear to my heart, so I would like to know whether you were ever a part of it and what your thoughts and feelings for it were. Uh, thank you very much for continuing to make entertaining videos and doing all that you do. Please enjoy the art and comics. Tom. P.S. I laugh to know that just by mentioning these comics in a vlog, their readership will probably go up a bit. Please forgive any errors in this. I am writing it at midnight right after drawing the art in this package. Also, the image you received is a photocopy. I need the original for class credit. Oh. This is a photocopy? That's amazing. <laughs> I couldn't tell that was a photocopy. I mean, if you look, you can see the glare on the color pencil, but... I thought this was the original piece. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Also, on the side of this, he wrote, This package was sent on June 14th, 2012 from California as a means of recording how long uh, these letters take to be sent. And for us to receive it, 
when we were on vacation and open it and yeah. record it. Yeah, not a good indication, really. Um, Today we, is the, right now, what time is it? After midnight? The 22nd of July. 21st. No, 22nd. You're right. Okay, so a month. A month. But generally, it doesn't take that long. Anyway, um... Make sure the art can answer the questions. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll start by showing you the art. Okay. That is pretty sweet art. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing you ever saw? It is a Kratos Argyle. That is so cool. That is so freaking cool. That's awesome. And you see up here, oh, piss. That's awesome. Oh my god. That is so cool. I love it. Actually, what's funny is that generally um, I'm more scared of bears than dragons. Although just recently I, I fought a, uh, a bear like that. So now it's actually the tables are turning and I'm more scared of dragons. Uh, anyway, Tom, that art is amazing. And we loved your last piece. Uh, is, have we, take, we haven't taken the last piece down yet, have we? Yeah, we have. So. Yeah, we have. We've been, we've been getting so much mail that things have started to be replaced, but we still have it. Uh, we loved it. It was awesome. It's actually really cool to see what you've done in color. So I appreciate that. And uh, to answer your questions, I have never been a huge comic guy. Um, I never read them as a kid. And uh, I don't know, part of me just feels like you, you kind of have to be introduced to that younger to get into it just because uh, some of my friends who are really big into comic books were reading them when they were kids and they grew up with them and I just never really got into them. You liked Persepolis. Yeah, I mean, and it's not that I don't like, it's not, yeah, it's not that I don't like them. It's that I just never really got into them. I liked Persepolis. Um, I've read a lot of the Dragon Ball manga. Um, I've read VG Cats. I've read Penny Arcade. You're going to be going through Dragon Maximum. That. Um, so I have them all. Thomas Let Us Borrow the Walking Dead. You finished one book. And I finished one book, and I would have read the rest because they were really interesting. I just, I get, I get so busy, I don't have time. Mal read all of them. Yeah. So, that he gave us. Yeah, I but mean... I agree with you, Thomas, if you're watching, so... Agree what? Thomas and I had a discussion about the plot. Oh, okay. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I really like stuff like that. I like comics and, and things of that nature. It's just I don't have a whole lot of time to devote to them. But I think they're cool. Um, for comic books, I liked Persepolis and Mouse, which I had to read for college. Um... Newspaper Funnies, Rose's Rose, the one with the cat. I should have mentioned that. I read the newspaper fun that okay, that would be my that would be how I, I, I connect to this whole comic thing because I read the Sunday newspaper comics every Sunday like for as long as I lived in my parents' house because we always got the Sunday paper and I read them ever since I was like I love six. Far side. Um Gary far, Larson. Far side. Uh what, what's the off thing? The off, I can't remember what it's called. Off. It's escaping my brain, but I know what you mean. You know, the off people. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the comic. It's usually just one panel, and yeah. it's hilarious. It's like the far side. Yeah, yeah, it's just really wacky stuff. Um, Foxtrot. We didn't have Foxtrot in my I paper. I love Foxtrot. We Garfield. I mean, I read Garfield, but Kathy. It wasn't the great. Yeah, Kathy was good. Um, I always like Peanuts, Blondie. Um, what's the uh, the one, there's also one that I never got as a kid, and as I grew up more and more, I... I Dilbert? No, I love Dilbert. Dilbert's funny. It's the one that it's usually really political. Doonesbury. Yeah, Doonesbury. When I was a kid, I didn't get it, and then as I got older, I started reading, I was like, oh, that's pretty funny. Um, and uh, what's the one they always put on the back? Shoe is shoe. Yeah. You know that one with the duck people that live in the... In the mm -hmm. What's it called? The tree? <laughs> what are those things called that have leaves? Huh, a shrubbery. No, a tree. Okay, anyway. Um, we already mentioned Trigon Maximum, web comics. I check out XKCD every once in a while and then I read yeah. back to the last one. Um, yeah, XKCD. King funny. of the Pill is a new one that's out by our friend William Hessian. Yes. I want to yes. plug it because plug it that. is fantastic. Plug that. He does a new panel every day and then every four days he um, puts the four panels together into a page. Yes. And he started January 1st. Did he start on the first? But he's doing a whole year. Every day gets a new panel. And he updates about midnight EST. Mm -hmm. And I every panel, I'm just like on the edge of my seat. I've enjoyed it a lot. He's yeah. doing a really great job with it. Yeah, William Hessian, for those, um, well, I mean, if you've, if you've watched the vlogs or if you've been on the journey, you know who William Hessian is. He was a fan of the vlog. 
and he's a really great artist. Mm -hmm. And if you have any interest in web comics, Google King of the Pill. And if I remember, I hope I remember, I'll put a link down in the description. If I don't, someone yell at me and I will. I will. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, where's the link? It's really good. Anyway, uh, moving on to the other questions. Uh, I was never a part of the Boy Scouts. I was a Girl Scout. I was a Girl Scout. How long were you a Girl Scout? Not very long, were you? Mm. Kindergarten, first grade, so I was a Daisy, a Brownie, and then I went into Girl Scouts in second, third, fourth, and fifth. Um, I mean, absolutely no complaints with the, the Boy Scouts by any measure or standard. Isn't Jared an Eagle Scout? Jared, my friend Jared is an Eagle Scout. Um, I went to his little ceremony thing, and uh, I have another friend, uh, John, I don't think he's ever been on the vlog. He's also an Eagle Scout. So I've got two friends that are Eagle Scouts, and uh, it's a great organization. It tr it teaches you good skills, not not like the in the woods skills. I mean, those are cool, but like I don't know what's what's the words I'm looking for to be like just a good person. What's the words? Manners. Well, man, a lot of things like that. Manners and just being leadership skills. Yeah, leadership skills, being an upstanding individual. Mm -hmm. That's why I like that. So I'm, I'm definitely all down with the Boy Scouts. Down with the Boy Scouts, that's a weird phrase. Anyway, Tom, I very much appreciate the leather and the art, which is awesome as always. We're gonna move on to the last leather, which is actually a package, and it's from Justin in Houston, Texas. Dear Stephen Amal, my name is Justin and I'm from Texas, which I'm sure you already have seen on the envelope. You might know me better as BlackFox51 on YouTube or Jay Castello, uh, pronounced J Cast. Day yo <laughs> on Twitter. I think I got it right. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll start by saying how much I appreciate your work. I'm not exactly sure when I watched my first vlog, but I do know it was sometime after your first three Chugga Connery vlogs, just like everyone else, right? Uh, while it was nice to see him in front of a camera for once, I couldn't help but watch the rest of your videos on Steven vlog. Both you and Mao are really hilarious together, especially during your co-op LPs, and Steven Place has become one of my favorite LP channels on YouTube. From commentary to audio slash video quality, you're one of the best, and I'm surprised more people aren't watching your videos. Technically, I haven't started the journey, but I've watched most of your videos, specifically the ones featured in the Fan Favorite Moments video. By the way, I'm really looking forward to the next one, uh, along with most of the apartment vlogs. I don't know if this sounds weird, but I respect you for running the vlog for almost a thousand days. It's great to see how far you've come since the first vlog. Uh, also, I have to say how amazing everyone is in your life. Not only do you have awesome sauce parents, but hilarious friends and the coolest cat ever. I'm pretty sure I've become a cat person just by watching your vlog. If you don't mind, I have a few random questions for you and Mal. Uh, number one, growing up, did you ever want to live in a different place, in a different country or state? I always wanted to live in a different country, study abroad, but I never got a chance to. I really loved where I grew up. Um, I mean, I grew up in a tourist town, which is really weird because if I would have lived anywhere else and then would have lived in Myrtle Beach, it would have felt weird. But because I grew up in a tourist town, it feels normal. It feels normal. Like when I go to visit Orlando, it doesn't really feel that out of the ordinary because there's a lot of people that complain like, oh, it's busy and there's all these people. And it's like, I'm just I'm used to it. Plus, anything you want is there because all these businesses are there. So I always liked it. Uh, number two, have you ever been to Texas? Nope. Nope. Would like to visit, though. I've got friends there. Number three, do you have any favorite TV shows? King of the Hill is really high up there for me. I've been watching Doctor Who and I love it. She loves Doctor Who. When I was in high school, I really liked Doctor Teen Hunger Force. I'm a big fan of animated series. I really liked The Pretender in high school. We're talking about high school stuff. This isn't a part of the question, but high school. I still like The Pretender. Number four, lastly, do you two still drink Jones Soda? I haven't seen it on the vlog in a while. We do. We um, got two green apple in the fridge. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Ever since we made the, the series of videos where we're like, ah, we gotta take it easy on the soda. I mean, we've cut it down a fair bit, but yeah, we still drink them from time to time. By now you should see the Metal Gear Solid HD collection I sent. Actually, no, I hadn't. Kept it a secret. Yeah, we, we <laughs> saw that there was a green top, so we knew that there was an Xbox game in there, but we hadn't pulled it out just so it would be a surprise when we pulled it out. But you revealed it! Metal Gear Solid HD collection. Wow. Oh, wow, it's several discs? I mean, I guess I should have assumed that, but that's that's awesome. Actually, this is what's what's really, really fantastic about this and why I appreciate this like more than you even know is that I don't have this and this is something that I wanted to get because I wanted to do the HD version of Metal Gear Solid 3 
to, for the LP because I've had that thing on my LP list since I think I started the channel. Um, so this is something I actually wanted to get and you sent it, which is awesome. But there's more to the letter, so before I start thanking you profusely, I should probably continue to read. No one else has sent in a copy, right? Correct. I've been meaning to send this for some time, and I was hoping no one would send it before me. I'm assuming you have a lot of HD collections, which will only continue to expand if game developers slash publishers continue to put them out like they're currently doing. Yeah, I mean, HD collections are pretty awesome. But yeah, with two Ts, that's funny. Back to Metal Gear Solid. I remember the vlog day where you and Mal played Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, and Mal immediately had a game over. Priceless. <laughs> if anyone hasn't seen that vlog day, um, if you're familiar with Snake Eater, when you start and you actually get into the jungle, you're actually in front of a cliff face, which most people don't realize because you generally head north in Metal Gear Solid games. Mal immediately heads south and dies within about 10 seconds. It was almost as fast as the death in Sonic Generations, which is sad. Right off the cliff. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> since I finished playing through all three games, I wanted to give this to you as a way of thanking you for all the entertainment you provide me through your vlog and LP channels. Also, it would be cool if you had a small LP where you run through the game, guns blazing. If I recall, you called it Friggin' Snake Edition during your Earthbound LP. That's... Okay, so this is great. This is so great. Because apparently you are not aware that this has been on my list of things to do. Ever since I started the channel, I've had, like, the little list of... Future LPs. Future LPs. The first game that ever made it to that list was Metal Gear Solid 3 Frickin' Snake Edition. And I think I've taken it off since then. That's the reason that you probably don't know. It's because it's been off for a few months because YouTube did their redesign or whatever. So that's been on the list of games to do was Frickin' Snake Edition Metal Gear Solid 3. And I want to do it without any stealth running through it. So, wow, this is amazing because you did not even know that I was going to do this game. Okay. I'm going to do Snake Eater, and I'm going to do it completely frickin' Snake Edition. It's actually going to be called in the LP, frickin' Snake Edition. I'm going to run through guns blazing, As yelling, friggin snake. yelling, I'm friggin' Snake, and kill everyone, because that's how I played it with Mal. Until Mal, you get to that one boss that's really hard. Yeah, the, was it the, the uh, yeah, is, I think his name's The End. Yeah. We'll just turn the Xbox off for a week and come back and <laughs> be dead. It's a fun way to kill it. Anyway, so that's cool. You didn't even know about that. That's awesome. Uh, anyway, also, Metal Gear Solid uh, Peace Walker is a little more difficult than Sons of Liberty and Snake Eater. It feels rewarding once you finish the game, but it's definitely a different experience compared to the other two. Hopefully you'll be able to play it once everything settles down. Well, I should probably wrap this leather up. I hope you and Mal have a fun trip to Wisconsin and an easy moving process when you get to your new apartment. Here's to many more vlogs and LPs in the future. Sincerely, Justin Castillo. Uh, P.S. Dan is awesome. I miss the small bonus videos where he would play the recorder while you sang and played guitar. It would be great to see you two collaborate again in the near future. And P.P.S. Congrats on your teaching award, Mal. Thank I know you. it was a while back, but after hearing all that you went through for your students, you definitely deserve that award. Thank you. I appreciate that on behalf of her. That was very sweet. And, I mean, thank you so much for sending the game. And it was... There's more. There's more? Oh, and another thing. In honor of your upcoming Pokemon Leaf Green LP, here are a few Magikarp cards. I'm sure the LP will be a splash hit. Smash, splash, get it? That's funny. There you go. So we got a Magikarp from base set, from Team Rocket, and from a gym leader set. This is Misty's. Triple Magikarp action. That's clever. Thank you for not only an amazing leather and being clever and doing things like this, but for sending in a game that you didn't even know we were going to do an LP of. Uh, we were going to do an LP of this. It's been one of those situations, it's like, yeah, we, we really have to get that game at some point uh, because we do plan on doing an LP of it, and here it is. Um, and there's probably a lot of people that are going to thank you for sending this in because now that this is here, there's no more excuses. <laughs> it's mean, a good game. It is. Um, if anyone has never played the Metal Gear Solid series, I recommend it. Uh, to be completely honest, I've never finished 1 and 2. I've only ever finished 3, and I've played through 3 a few times, and I, I really do I really do enjoy the series. Um, and I'd like to, at some point, go through all the games. But if I'm not mistaken, in the chronology of the games, 3 comes first. So it's actually cool that I want to start with 3, because 3 is in the line of games. So if I want to do them like more of them later, they actually they are in the right order. I don't know if this is left or right, but anyway. Um, so Justin, thank you so much for the game. Thank you for the leather. I really appreciate it. And for everyone who sent something in, thank you. This was a great mail episode. Mm -hmm. We got all kinds of awesome leathers, awesome art. Uh, we got some magic carps, and we got an awesome game out of this. So thank you, everyone, for sending something in. Um, we're recording this, obviously, the same night that we did the last mail episode. But very soon, 
very soon you will have a, a address to send us stuff. New address. New address. Because right now there's no address. So keep your eye on the, uh, the channel page in the top right corner and probably middle of next week, uh, or by the time you guys are getting this, middle of this week, there should hopefully be a new address there. So uh, once again, thank you guys for, for everything. Really do appreciate it. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 LP coming a little sooner than it would have been. After Pokemon? Possibly after Pokemon. Uh, that we have so many games like on the list, it's it's actually crazy to try and decide you know what we want to do. But thanks for everything, and uh, we'll see you next time here on another exciting episode of Stephen Mail.